Hi folks, Jim Gum here. Welcome back to the channel and some more TGC2. Uh, today we've got a course by CLV24 and this is Chambers Bay. This is a course I played on TGC1. Really, really nice course. And again, this is a, another one of the RCRs to add to the series. Let's have a little look around. And of course, if you play TGC or TGC2, you just must be familiar with the CLV. Probably one of the best designers for RCRs in the game. Okay. So we've got hole one, 565 yards, part five. We'll hit it fast, but it should be okay. Come on, kick off that. Nice. Oh, look at that little side slope there. Don't really want to go there. I think I'll aim to the right. Matter of fact, if you look at the slope here, it should hit that and run down towards the pin. Hopefully. Okay, come on, roll down towards the pin. Ah, oh, nice yeah. second shot yeah, that one. The green and under regulation on this one. You sink this next putt. So now we're coming. Nice. Nothing like starting your round at two under. Okay, hole number two. Let's see what you can do here. Yeah, Chambers Bay is located in University Place, Washington, and it was established in 2007, June 23rd. And it was designed by Robert Trent Jones. Okay, hole two, 410 yards, par four, stroke index 11. A lot of bunkers in Chambers Bay, a lot of waste bunkers. Very, very thin up here at the top. So let's aim to the right hand side. All right, Come on, pull around. That looks okay. Okay, so this is after the new update, and if you look at the text. For the holes now it's a lot more prominent you can see it a lot better i'm not sure what other changes are in gameplay wise okay 86 that should be okay with that little bit of wind always oh, hit slow looking good hit a slow and pull it a bit Okay, seven yards. Let's go with a 12 yard carry chip. And let's try about a 50% swing. Oof, distance was perfect. All right, nice and close, nice little putt here. Okay, let's see how these numbers add up now. Okay, so that's gonna keep you at two under for the round. All right, let's drop that ball in the green. Nice view off this tee. Look how deep that bunker is. Right at the start there. Okay, this hole 387 yards, par 3. Stroke index 7. Okay, we've got 172. It's 
playing about 168 with that wind. Just take a tiny, tiny touch off of that. Come on, pull around a bit for me. Come on. Yeah, I think the greens are pretty firm. This one for birdie. Uh, 170 feet par, so it's yeah, medium to fast. Okay, we've got left to right. 34 feet, 28 feet, 3 inches up. Let's just bring that back a little bit. Come on, turn in. Ooh, nice pump. Big fist pump. I think there's some new animations as well. Can't remember seeing that fist pump. K hole 4, 492 yards, par 4, stroke index 5. Again, amount of bunkers. This must take ages to do. Okay, if you look here, this is actually sloping down towards the bunkers. So I kind of want to stay up on this area here. So with my little bit of draw, if I can run about here, hopefully it will pull around up to the flat area. Ooh, I pulled out too much. Oh, that's going to leave me on a big, big slant. Why? Oh no, it's come down this little flat area. Come on. That might be alright, actually. Hmm. Uh, like Bit of a slope, left to right. Okay, 192.53. So that's playing what? Ooh, that's playing about 210, something like that. Let's just go with a 210 club. Come on, slope. Should have pulled that around a bit more. It should work its way around a bit. Is it going to come back for me? Come on. I don't think it's going to stay that. I'm going to leave a tricky downhill putt. Right, 19 foot, 1 foot down. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. I just want to hit it to this little bit here. Oh, that was so close. That's not a bad putt for 1 foot down. That was a big downhiller. Yeah, going along pretty steady. Okay, hold five, four hundred and eighty four yards, par four, stroke in next nine. Okay, pretty open wide fairway. Good view off the tee. Let's aim a little bit to the right. Should be okay. Ooh, cut that close now. Okay, looks like we have around 155 yards to go. Okay, 154, playing about 156. Just trying to take a little tiny touch off. Good big right to left slope. Oh, that's going to turn too much to the left, I think. Like oh no, that's pretty spot on. All right, a little six foot putt here. Slide that putt in there. Another birdie. Ah, oh, there's another new animation. I don't think I've seen that one either. Okay, hole six, 503 yards, 
par 4, stroke index 13, 503 yards par 4, it's pretty long. Yeah, Chambers Bay has held two events since it was um, established, and that was 2010 it held the US Amateur, and 2015 it held the US Open, and that was won by Jordan Spieth. Now, there's two fly areas here, one right down here, and one up here. I think I'll probably go for the, the lower one. You always hit fast. That should Looks be like okay though. Should bounce off and go down a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's still going to leave me a bit of a slope, I think. And we are right around 175 yards. Okay, you play about 179. Take a little tiny bit off. A little slope left to right. And that wind. It's looking good. Come on. Depends on distance. And distance is pretty good also. Alright, on the green. Little six flurry here, nothing too scary. Great. Hot. There. Yeah, apparently during the 2015 Open, uh, come under some criticism by some of the professionals. Uh, Gary Player actually called it the worst course he might ever have seen in his 63 years of a professional golfer. <laughs> and Henrik Stenson said that the greens were like putting on broccoli. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, hole 7, 452 yards par 4 stroke index 1. So this is playing the hardest hole on a course. Very thin up here to try and land the ball. There's a 3 wood going to put me. And will three would make that. I think the driver might cut right across. Ah, we'll go for it. Nice, should be in the fairway. Come on, stay on. Good thing hit that upslope. That sort of killed it. Now we are looking at around 185 yards to the pin. Okay, 186. So it's playing about 198 to 200. So it's playing about 200. 198 clubs should do, even though we've got a little bit of wind. But am I going to get up on this back slope? Ooh, I don't know. Let's just down off this just a touch. That's turning lovely if it makes it up that top slope. Come on, get up, get up. Oh, yes. Now, these holes, these are the ones you're very dodgy on. I mean, look how straight are they. It might be okay, but you know what these phantom bricks are like, so I'm going to aim just the inside of the cup on the right. Yep, there you go. See that turn there? Even though I sort of pushed it to the right, I actually turned to the left, and that was a straight putt. That was a phantom break. Okay, hole 8, 570 yards, par 5, stroke index 15. Again, got a lot of slope left to right. Very, very bumpy fairway. And I was at the clubhouse up there. It's pretty small for a clubhouse. Right, I think we're going to have to aim down to the bottom section here. Or if it bounces off sort of the middle, it should roll down in a little flat area for me. It's looking good. That should be okay. Stop that ball. That's fine. Okay, 277, it's playing about 287. Now I'd rather have a flat pitch. If I can get it up on this top section here. I don't actually want to go in the green because it's not going to reach the hole and it's going to leave me one hell of a size putt if I trickle on the green. So I want to try and get on this top section here. That should be okay.
just stay that. Yep, that's fine. Let's just take a little touch off of that. I'll do for the birdie. For the bird. yes. Oof. Thought I'd push that too far there. Eh? Noticed I'm doing that quite a lot of putts now. It's actually pushing to the right. Need to try and maybe push it to the left a bit, see if it strains out. I mean, it does move it. Not a lot, but it does move it. Okay, 106 foot down. Wow. This whole nine, 235 yards, par three, 215. So that's 106. Oh, I hate maths. So it's actually playing ooh, right about 280. Yeah, 180. Oh, that doesn't look right, does it? Hmm. We'll try it. See if my calculations are right. Oh, yeah, we were. I could have took a little tiny bit off that, but I didn't want to play with the loft though. I'll be happy with the par here. Okay, oh, the tough hole, that one. To okay, 20 foot, 4 inches down. Let's just give this a little knock. Oh, and I hit it too short. That'll do that. Nice part. Very nice looking hole, this one. Hold 10, 435 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. Can you imagine playing these greens in real life? It'd be really, really tough, wouldn't it? I mean, look at the humps and bumps on that. As I said, that uh, little bit of criticism Henrik Stenson gave it, said it's like putting on broccoli. That's not a bad strike. Okay, 116, it's plenty about 120. Just take a little touch off of that. Is it coming around enough? I think so. Oh, I hope it bites as well. Oh, I didn't take enough off. Oh, look at that slope, wow. Oh, it's not turning. God damn it. Don't hit that slope. Oh, it's okay. Four feet to the hole. You can do this. Just be another part. Okay, so that'll keep you at seven under for the round. Hole number 11. Okay, hole 11. 519 yards. It's another big part four. Stroke index eight. Yeah, it looks like there. Well, we'll have a better look once we got close to the green, but that looks like a very small landing area. Do you like when you get up? My tie dye shirt and shorts. All nice and blue. You can put the blue sunglasses to go with it. Ooh, 205, it's playing about 211. That'll be too much, that club. Put a bit of loft on it. Oh, 
Oh, it's going to turn around too much. Oh, it's going to make hit that slope. And it has. Damn it. Stay there. Oh, no. Bye bye, ball. As I say, if you're not accurate on these greens of the approach shot, you could be in a lot of trouble. Look at the ball, it's like an inch off the ground. It's not even touching the grass now. Okay, 36. It's playing about 40. It's a pretty good touch off of that. Get up, get up. Oof. No, don't. Oh, I thought I was going to spin back, hit that slope. Okay, let's see what you can do with this seven footer. Oh, I thought I hit that too soft. I thought I was just going to pull away the right there. Keep you at seven under for the round. Okay, here we go. Okay, hold 12, 290 yards, par four. Very short par four. Stroke index 18, so it's probably the easiest hole on the course. But again, look at that green. Wow. All right. Now let's have a wee look here. There's no way you're going to be playing over there, are you? So I'm thinking if we can hit the ball, maybe up here, you're going to kick off and roll on to the green. I reckon. Where's a three wood going to put me? Oh, uphill. I don't think a three wood will do it. So I'm going to go with the driver. Okay, let's follow this one. Come on, both. Slow down. Slow, slow down. Now if that stays on this top section, that's a good shot, but I don't think it is. Oh, come on, stop, 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 stop. Nope, let's hit the slope. God damn it. So close to being a very, very good shot. Uh, I think that's the way you play it. Okay, that was fancy. I don't know, maybe if I put a little bit of loft on that driver. Okay, let's have a look now. It's a little bit of right to left, right at the flag, or right at the pin. So let's just aim it just a little touch to the left. Because it shouldn't turn too much with the amount of pace we're going to put on this. That's not bad. I'll take that from there. Four feet. Let's do this. As I said, I didn't think it would turn much. It hardly turned at all, did it? So I should have probably just left that straight. That's all birdie. I'll take a birdie from where that putt was. Par four here. With a nice clean drive. Okay, hole 13, 489, par four. Stroke index 10. Yeah, I've got a big sweeping sort of dog leg round to the right. Big bunker. Huge bunker. So I think we'll just smack this up here. A little bit too fancy with this bunker. That'll do. Okay, 176. So it's playing about 179, but with that wind, I'm gonna have to go with a hybrid. Take a little bit off, or go with 179 and down loft it a little bit. I'd rather do that than put too much loft on the hybrid because the hybrids are quite hard to control when you put a lot of loft on them. Oh, it's jumped up to 10 mile an hour wind. That's a good strike. Heading for the green here. 
A little bit more to the right though. Distance was virtually spot on. Okay, quite a not a bad little pot this one. Quite flattish. Why didn't that turn? That did not turn at all. Now if you look at the lines going back, I mean they're a lot slower than what they were coming on the first pot. That just did not turn at all. Yeah, I think the physics on the putting are a little bit off going by the green grid. Oh, look at this hole. Hole 14, 499 yards. Par 4 stroke index 2. That must have took a lot of work doing this terrain. All that sand. Just to get it right. Now, where can we hit this? Ooh. Well, I don't know if I want to chance that. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe play to the right of this bunker, actually. I think I will. Play up here. Come on, that should be okay. Played it right enough to not go anywhere near that bunker, I think. Got a good roll on it. 330 yards, that's not bad. Okay, 205, it's playing about 195, 198, the hybrid, yeah, let's take some loft off, or should I say add loft. Well, let's see how this green's sloping. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to hit to the right hand side. Now have I took too much off? No, not enough. I don't think I could have took any more off that, to be honest. It was nearly full loft. Okay, a little five yard chip. These are the little dodgy ones. Whoa, Oof, round the hole. But another part. And course challenge complete. One putt par. Okay, another downhiller, par 3. Hole 15, 158 yards. Par 3, stroke index 12. Again, you've got a kind of little landing spot there. A bit slopey all the way around it. Okay, 166, 51, so that's plain. Ooh, about 140, no, 150, sorry, 155, 142, let's go with 155, take a little touch off. Now, how's the distance? Come on, roll up a bit more, nope. Oh, still moving that. Okay. 16 feet. 4 inches up. Oh, this shouldn't move too much. Oh, I thought I hit that too hard. Oh, look at that one. Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, hole 16, 408 yards, par 4, stroke index 14. Lovely going all the way along the coast here. Again, big slopes left to right, huge waste bunker all the way up to the green. Okay, just smack one down the middle here. It should hit the fairway and roll to the right. That should be okay. Good view of the sun just shining off the water there. Okay, 97 yards. Oh, 
Oh, I pushed that a bit to the right. That's okay. I'll do it. Oh, I knew that was turning right next to the pin, but there was a slight little line next to the ball. I thought it may have pulled a little bit left first. But it didn't. And that'll keep you at nine under for the round. It's not bad. Bogey we'll free round so far. What are them things over there? Yeah. Weird looking, wherever they are. Okay, hole 17, 177 yards, par 3 stroke index 6. So this is playing about 179. Let's take a little bit of loft off that. I actually want to hit the left hand side of the green here and roll down. Good clean hit. Want to be a little bit more to the left, I think. There, yep. All right, on the green, let's get pot. All right, this next one's for Purdy. Okay, nine feet. It's pretty straightforward, and again, it's not turning as much as you think it would. Four feet to the hole, you can do this. Ah, that should have been a bloody birdie. Work. Course challenge completed, nearest to the pin. So that'll keep you at nine under for the round. Okay, hole 18. It's time to send this ball on its way. What are they? This looks like kind of crosses. Hmm, weird. Okay, hole 18, 597 yards, par 5, stroke index 16. Okay, pretty long, pretty straightforward. Aim a little bit to the right here. Just aim to the very edge of this bunker. That should pull in lovely. That'll do fine. So, no chance of reaching the green. Three would just smack up over the top of this bunker here. Oh, got a little bit of hitch in there, for some reason. Just stop and do it again. Let's pull in a little bit left. Come on, be okay. Oh, that's not bad. Kick, kick back in. Quite a big pitch. This might even be a full shot here. No, 66, playing about 70. Let's take some off of that. Ooh, come on, roll back down. No, it's going to stop right there. So again, another great course by the CLB. Uh, really enjoyed this one. Didn't play as hard as I thought it would be. But very, very, very nice course. And uh, another cracking course to add to our RCR collection. And it'll get a 5 out of 5 for me. And look at there he goes again. Woo! Okay, minus 10. Definitely a 5 out of 5. Anyway guys, if you like the content, you want more content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you again next time.